back Zaniacs <clears throat> to the amazing channel. I am Zane. Tips on vocal rest or to get your voice back or how to get a stronger voice. <coughs> I might need those tips. If you want to get your voice like it was before and um, you don't know what happened, here's what you can do. If high notes were the reason why your voice feels weak, take a break. Your voice can heal so then it comes back stronger. If you have to talk, you could do this. Uh, vocal fry. Hi, my name is Zane and I'm doing a YouTube channel. <clears throat> this kind of like vibrates the vocal cords just very, very small so it's not working it too much. And it's good to do this instead of coughing because um, before you sing, it's not good to like clear your throat. It's not really good. It, it, does over time damage your vocal cords. Damage your vocal cords. <coughs> so the best way is to go like this. <coughs> this kind of um, smoothens the mucus. That's a way you can talk but still be on vocal rest. And um, do this. I used to do this when I feel like um, my voice was getting weaker. It's because I was singing all those high notes. So the best way to get over this, choose a day where you could have a whole day of vocal rest, meaning minimal talking. And if you do talk, um, write it on a board. You know how Hannah Montana did it? If you're like me and you know sign language, don't talk for a whole day if you could. Like do it on the weekend. Don't talk for a whole day, and the whole day, when you could, put on headphones and listen to classical music. Or your favorite artist, just can't sing along to it. So over the summer, I went a whole day without singing or talking. And like the next day, my voice felt stronger and more useful. So the whole day, I put headphones in and started listening to Mariah Carey um, live. I paid attention to the techniques, not her tone or in trying to copy, I was just listening to her techniques for whistles, for belts, for low notes, and taking note of that, when I finally got back into singing, um, I guess those listening turns into like actual, you know, actions. So I used those techniques and then I saw myself improve more. So you could do that too. Find your favorite artist. Make sure they're a vocalist, not just like someone who does nice beats. Another thing, refrain from milk, dairy in general, and um, cold water. That's not good for your vocals. You want to make sure you keep it healthy and um, safe. And if you have a performance soon, this is probably a good thing to do so that you can give it your all. So yeah, these are all the tips guys. I hope you use them because I do. It really is effective, so go for it. And come back to my channel like every week and you'll see a new video. I have a separate channel. It's called Zaniacs. It's over there in this corner right here. <clears throat> you have to click it. Click it right now. Yeah, see that? The one over here. I'll post like random things like maybe vo voice recordings from my phone, maybe <sighs> whistle notes, some uh, footage from my video lessons, reactions to like Mariah Carey or Ariana Grande or whatever. Subscribe, please subscribe to that, please subscribe to this and um, yeah, give this a thumbs up and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you Zaniacs, I love you. No you need to subscribe, give this a thumbs up, and check out this video down below. Yes, go check it, it's kind of interesting. You can go watch it. So, very subtle. Like,